Hello and welcome back to the Daily Bread Bible Study for day 126. Tuesday, May 5th, 2020, 1 Chronicles 24 through 26. We're getting closer towards the end of 1 Chronicles and we are wrapping up some of the census that was taken last time by King David. So we go back to a list of names, namely about a list of names of the Levites who have been restructured around the building of the temple. Now, just as we talked about last time, Moses had the three sons of Aaron, you know, appointed to be attendants to, you know, the worship there in the wilderness. So the Gershonites had been tasked with the care of the tent of meeting, the, the cloths of the tents. The Merarites were in charge of moving the tent poles and supports. And the Korathites were the ones in charge of, you know, the priestly more function. So with the temple of the Lord, the Merarites do not need to move the tent poles and supports. And the Gershonites don't need to transport the tent coverings. Thus, King David makes most of the Levites into general service individuals, focusing on musicians, gatekeepers, officers, ju judges, and treasurers. The role of the descendants of Aaron would continue to serve as the priests. And so King David maintained the priestly uh, house starting with Aaron and his sons uh, Eleazar and Ithamah. And we learn that the heads under Eleazar were 16 and the heads under Ithamar were 8. And these roles were done in according to Lot, a.k.a. God was consulted for deciding these roles. The other Levites are assigned roles at the end of chapter 24. And moving into chapter 25, we have the list of the musicians, including the sons of Asaph, a name familiar in the um, Psalms. A He-Man, which is just a name that we have in a different context here in our culture. And then Judathan, so the sons of He-Man actually become appointed as the king's seers, reminding us that music is connected with the divine. So if you've ever been able to hear a choir sing and you'll hear the, this angelic melody, well, the people in the Bible had the same concept and idea too. In 1 Chronicles 26, the other Levites from the Korathites and Merarites are appointed as the gatekeepers. Now, I should mention these gatekeepers did more than stand by the doors of the temple. They were ministers who helped facilitate logistics, similar to how the New Testament appoints deacons in that kind of um, assisting role. These ministers assisted the four entrances to the temple and the storehouses, also the colonnade and the ascending road. So they were all around and went up and about and were active therein and outside of the temple. I just want to point out an, another thing too. Additionally, uh, it says guard is appointed as guard, which I find it interesting that there is somebody in the Bible named guard. That's, uh, is that where our English word guard comes from? I'm not sure. But it sounds strange to name guard after guard who are guarding. Anyway, since the Korathites and Merarites function as the gatekeepers, we get to see that the Gershonites, the other sons of Aaron, you know, are not forgotten. They become the treasurers, officials, and judges. So that's all I really have for you today. Uh, we will look tomorrow uh, for next time to focus on closing out 1 Chronicles 27 and 29 and see the wrapping up of kind of David's story here in 1 Chronicles.